Max. Yeah. I feel like this one's a, a good topic for you. Sure. Should the, They're all good should the NFL model. treat these as failed tests? Of course not. It is ridiculous. It's so stupid. They're not failed tests. It's dilute because I guess it's negative, dilute, positive, whatever that, whatever the hell it is, diluted to the rest of the world. Sample. So Joe Thomas tweeted about this today, and he's absolutely right. You mean to tell me you're playing a sport, you're perspiring, you're obviously going to be very hydrated, you're going to drink a lot of water and fluids. You shouldn't do that in case the sample's diluted. Well, hey, NFL, if you're collecting the samples and it's diluted, go get another one. That's on you. The, the player has That's to worry fair. about how many fluids they take in. Furthermore, this test tests for so many things. Uh, uh, marijuana and anabolic steroids, right? Well, look, if he's taking anabolic steroids, that's bad. Because I'm not naive. A lot of people do dilute the sample intentionally to avoid a, a, a false, a, a bad result, right? You know, suspension, whatever else. But if he's smoking weed, I don't care. And, and neither should the NFL. So, like, first there's the issue of it's diluted, not failed. That's on the sample, that's on the collector, and there are perfectly legitimate reasons why it would be diluted. These athletes are hydrating. And then there's, then there's the, the, the idea that we don't know, even if it is being diluted, why it's being diluted. It could be for a performance enhancer, very bad, or a recreational drug, which is, in my opinion, nobody's business. But, Max, you think it's possible, and, and I get your stance on the other issues with it, that he just drank too much water? Yes. But all these other athletes didn't drink too but much water. Some of them athletes. did. There are some, di right? So, so some, some do, many don't. But, yes, absolutely. Okay. Some people hydrate more than others. Just I'm not naive about it. Yeah. I know yeah, yeah, yeah. why. I, I agree. Just if you, he, if you hear hoofbeats in North America, don't rule out zebras, but think horses first. But maybe it's possible there's a zebra in North America. Okay. I don't know what the hell you just said, but it doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I want to warn all collegiate athletes and NFL athletes in the future. This is first take. I really, really, really am scared of what I'm going to say if an athlete comes on this show and said, I'm guilty of drinking too much water. I dare. I dare somebody to do that in front of my face. I, 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 I don't even know Maybe what I'm going to do. Maybe Ruben Foster is going to do it in the next I, hour. I, I, drank, I drank too much water. God forbid someone really? Water. You go ahead. You go ahead and you try that. You go, you go right ahead. Let me tell y'all something. Max Kellerman, just this past Friday, I gave a speech at Murray State University in, outside of in Murray, Kentucky, okay? And I'm talking to a bunch of students. Now, we know how you feel about what the test should or should not be. And I get that. I don't even disagree. But it's not that way. Those who have the gold make the rules. The rules with the NFL are clear. You know them beforehand. You know them while you're a participant in that product, and nobody is forcing you to do so. I understand and am a proponent of the rules changing. But until they do, you know what the do's and don'ts are. And if you violate that, you pay the piper. I don't want to hear this, that a diluted test is not a failed test. The NFL says it is. The NFL says that you go into their drug program in the event that you have a diluted test. This is not foreign to you. You know this, which means that you, your agent, your representative, your family, your coach, and everybody else, as I as I as was concurred with me by Brian Kelly, the coach at Notre Dame yesterday when he was on my radio show, the rules are what they are. And if we are proponents of literally sitting there saying, we're just going to ignore it because the rule is stupid, right. then it's going to be a whole well, bunch the, of people that's paying the price. Right. The NFL can say a diluted sample is a failed test. They can also say 2 plus they 2 is 5. It, and they, they have, have the power it. to make that right. Yes. That's true. So far, he is guilty is of true. being thirsty as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. All right, fine. They say otherwise. They say it's a positive test. Max Kellerman can yes. sit there and say that thirsty all want to. You going to pay that bill? By the way, he tested you, you, positive you got for some, water. Hey, hey Max. He, I mean, you know, hey, what Max, are we you, talking hey, about? Hey, Max, you get paid. 